Hello, we're going to be looking at division by more than one digit, which is commonly known as long division. Now, lots of people get themselves into a bit of a tizzle about this, and there's absolutely no need, because long division, once you've got the hang of it, is absolutely fine. Um, so here's our first example. So if we were to write this on the page as normal, it would look a bit like 455 divided by 13, or it might be 13 at the top and 455 underneath. Um, so that's how it might look, but you lay it out in a bus stop method in much the same way as we did in short division. So, for what, what I've done is a little bit of preparation work over at the side here, and I've just uh, done some of my 13 times table, which will help me as we go along. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to try 13, well, 13 into 4, which obviously won't go, and it'll ne uh, if we've got a double digit number, it's never going to go into a single digit number, so we don't really need to bother with that. So I'm looking at 13 into 45, so if I look over at the side here, I can see that 39 is, um, 52 is too many, so 39 is the one, so that goes in three times. So we put our three above as normal, but the, here's the difference with short division. We actually put the amount below um, the 45 there, so the 39 goes below. Three lots of 13 is 39. And then... We're going to take 39 away from 45, and the difference between the two is 6. So 45 take away 39 is 6. And here comes the clever bit. I now bring down the next number, this one here, the next digit, to there. So the next digit goes next to it and creates a new number, which is 65. Now, we actually... Do 13s into 65. So 13s into 65, I can see, looking here, it goes five times. The answer at the top, the amount underneath, subtract, and if we got it absolutely correct, it should be zero at the bottom because there's no remainder. So 13s into 55 go sorry, 13s into 455 go 35 times. And I'm going to show you that again. And watch, you're going to watch it unfurl again. So there we have three times, it goes in three times, with the number goes underneath. Then we have a remainder of six. Bring the five down. And... Then 13s into 65 goes 5 times, and we have a remainder of 0 at the bottom. Now, let's try this one a little bit more complex, but actually not really. So I've done my prep, oops, done my prep work over here, um, and I'm not going to go too far up. If I need to, I can go further, um, but that I've taken it 5 times up to 5 times 56, but I could go further up to 9 times if necessary. Um, so first of all, I'm looking at 56 into 68, and obviously that's once. So the 56 goes below, and we have a remainder of 12. So the next digit comes down, so that digit comes down, and now I have 123, 123. So I'm looking at 56s into 123. Looking over there, it's going to be twice, 112, it goes into it, so there's twice. And I put the 112 down below and then do my subtraction, so I've got one there and one there, so I've got 11, and bring my 2 all the way down. And as I can see, 112, which is over here, 56 is into 112, goes twice. That's why I didn't do too much preparation um, by doing too many over here, because uh, otherwise I'm 
I wasted some of my time, but I'd have wasted an awful lot more of my time if I'd had done all of them. So, um, I've run out of space a little bit, but I, if I take 112 from 112, it would be zero, no remainder. So there you have long division. So I haven't dealt with remainders or anything like that. That will come in a future lesson. Thanks for watching. Come back soon.